My name is Snekato and today we will learn object-oriented programming. Let's imagine that you want to create a translator from cat language to human language so you can know why your cat keeps stabbing your face with its nails. To do this, you decide to write a groundbreaking code that would change the life of many cat lovers. However, in order to do this, we first have to explain and describe to our computer what a cat is. And because of this, we will learn about how to use object-oriented programming with Python. With this approach, we will be able to explain to our machine what a cat is using classes. A class is just like a template where you can create new objects or new different types of cats in this example. And as you can see, we can create different types of templates. For example, we can have a class cat, a class dog, or a class hamster. Since we want to make a cat language translator, let's focus in the class cat. Creating new classes in Python is extremely easy. The only thing that you have to do is write class followed by the name of your new class or template, like I said before, that in this case is cat. You write two points and pass. And just like that, you just created a new class. However, this class is empty. Before we continue, I want you to think a little bit about this. How would you define a cat to someone who has never seen one? Hmm. An easy way to define a cat is describing how it looks like and what things it can do that other animals can't. And that is why we are going to add attributes and methods to define our cat class. Attributes are the physical characteristics that describe our class. And in this example, it can be the eye or the fur color of a cat. Methods are the function of that specific class, or in other words, they show what actions a cat can do. For example, a cat can scratch your face or it can talk to you by saying meow. If you're liking this video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe and write in the comments what other attributes and methods we can add to our cat class. And now let's continue learning. Do you remember that our class was completely empty? Well, let's start by defining some attributes. Now, instead of leaving our class empty, we are going to add two attributes, by and for color, followed by empty strings. Because remember that this is just a template. We are going to work on objects in a moment. And now let's continue with some real life examples. We're going to work in some instances of a class or like I said before, examples, specific examples of a class. And we're going to start with a tabby cat. To start, we are going to use our cat class and assign it to a tabby variable. And to make our tabby unique and special, we are going to set the eye color and fur color so we can know that it's different from other cats. And to do this, you have to use dot notation. For example, tabby dot eye color and you assign yellow as a string. Also, you can uh, put the fur color, for example, tabby dot fur color as brown. And to make sure that we set up the class correctly, we can do a print statement like this one that will show us that tabby cats have yellow eyes and brown fur. Let's try with a new example. This time we are going to work in a British short hair cat. So again, in order to do this, we set up a cat class inside our variable called British. And then we set the defining characteristics of a British short hair cat to differentiate it from other types of cats. And in this case, we are gonna set the eye color as yellow and the fur color as gray. As we did before, we check with a print statement if everything is working correctly. And if it does, it will show us that 
British short hair cats have yellow eyes and gray fur. And now it's your turn. You have to create a new instance of the class cat using this orange kitten. Don't forget to share your code in the comment section so I can see it and check what cool ideas you have. Thank you so much for watching this video. And let me know if you would like me to make a new video focusing on methods for object-oriented programming. See you in the next one.